and, and, and against the wider things that are happening across the world, this is the kind of stuff we need to be doing and um, educating yourself around a lot of that stuff. It's very important. Let's jump into our loser semi-finals between Carrot and Dion. Ryu versus Gunner. Again, a matchup I don't think I've ever seen before. This is true. Um, so, contrary to the previous to the previous matches, um, Tatsu going through Gunner's projectiles is something that is going to be an odd interaction in terms of how Carrot reacts to Stealth Bomber, because Tatsu would have been going through that anyway. Carrot just Carrot just needs to be aware of that move, like like he can't go through it. Like he needs to be aware of that move that it's going to it's going to uh, it's who's going to be a non-factor in how he interacts with that. Mm. Sorry, I kind of fudged fudge the way I explained that. Um, but yeah, I suppose what I mean is the ver the horizontal control that uh, that most projectiles rely upon isn't a factor for that move, so it's not what uh, it's looking for. Anyway. This is that, that was the position briefly there that Dion wants Carrot in. I'm not too much, I'm not too sure how much experience Carrot has right here. I think there is, I'm pretty sure there's a pretty good gunner in that region. Oh, I think called Delta? Or th there was anyway, so Carrot might have some um, second negative experience from that. But, um, be interesting to see. Carrot, all of the experience in the world uh, doesn't stop you from flooding your recovery like that. And unfortunately, yeah. SDing. Oh, wow, Ooh. that is going to be All the eye, unfortunately, on the Tatsu going almost straight up. <laughs> My guy wanted into the stage so badly. Dion trying to keep him at bay. Using the up air to shark through the ledge just to make sure Kara doesn't think that, that interaction is going to be free from him in future. Up smash out of shield stops the collar breaker. I don't know if that's what Dion was looking for. Definitely putting Kara on notice. Wow. So a Hadouken will eat one of those neutral B grenades. Interesting. Interesting to know. Although, interestingly, the oh. bomb seems to go underneath the Hadoukens, but there again, another stealth burst out to take Carrot's stock. Pressure, just the not allowing the Carrot to apply anything on his way down. This matchup has the potential to be so interesting in the way that it develops because of the way that each of... Oh my goodness, my guy got hit with a focus attack in the face and ate a Shoryu for it. Because of the interesting ways in which each of Gunner's projectiles can be navigated by Ryu individually. They're all different. Yeah. Leon trying to just keep him as far away as possible. sits under the platform trying to create some pressure. I don't know what the answer is for Gunner to uh, to deal with that focus attack in terms of multi-hitting moves. Because if you're that close, you really don't want to invest yourself into an up air. Mm. There's, uh, uh, the aside from the up air, there's something like a forward smash to hit at ground level. Um, but again, it's a little bit harder. Yeah, of course, that yeah. grenade, also it's multi-hit move. I remember like some time ago, maybe like an hour, we were talking about risk and reward and the risk in terms of going to catch that focus attack versus the reward can't be very pretty for uh, Dion. My goodness. Once again, we see Dion coming through with that down smash at the ledge just to catch the, the inevitable neutral get up to try to avoid the grenade. And that is game one going to him. Yeah, pops him straight up into the down smash. And it's going to uh, it's going to put Dion into a nice lead, but it's not in terms of the next match. I feel that Carrot will be able to uh, wipe the slate clean and and step back and think critically about what projectiles he needs to be looking forward to. For none of them are the ones he's going to be lo <laughs> yeah. looking forward to, looking no out way. for. Yeah, he's been he's going to be he's going to be a uh, one of. There's always one projectile you're kind of hoping to see in a match against Zoners in every situation because that's the projectile that allows you to either like gain some ground or that's the one that you know you can punish. Carrot mm. will be 
sort of uh, will be blending and crunching the numbers in his head in this situation and working out which of those projectiles in each situation he yeah. can navigate. Um, which projectiles are the you done messed up projectiles? You shouldn't have thrown that. Thing. Ooh, very nice. Able to get the forward throw into the grenade and follow up with the dash attack. Again, just coming down with these projectiles on Carrot's shield. Carrot's getting caught a lot by these grabs coming out from Dion. So I'd be weary of how he defends. Again, great grab coming out from Dion. Dion does that a lot. He throws out a projectiles. He throws out projectiles and then uses his grab as an anti-zone breaking tool. He just dashes forwards and grabs you on your approach. Lovely forward smash. Not going to be enough just yet. Stealth, stealth burst coming through. Ooh, right there. I think Dion was trying to like fake out a grab and then bait an option out of shield from Carrot. Ooh, punish that. But a stealth burst off stage. Beautiful marksmanship coming out from Dion. I like the word marksmanship to describe that as well. The, um, the, he just wasn't ready for it. So that you fill your opponent's mind with, with all kinds of, all kinds of garbage. And then suddenly there's something that they really have to be paying attention to. Like that back air. My goodness, Dion trying to clear some space below him with that down B. He wasn't ready himself for Carrot to burn his double jump and come straight back at him. Lovely call out with that, um, with that back air. Carrot feels like he's finding his footing a little bit, having Dion pinned in the corner. Not to last that long, and now Dion is in the space he likes to be in. He won't like to be in it for much longer if he lets Carrot close in on him too often like that. Oh, there wow. he goes again, short hop buttons. I love the way that he called out that focus stack and just ran up and grabbed. That was, uh, that was ballsy as hell. I respect yep. that. It called called yeah. out the focus attack with the grab, and then called out the aerial focus with the up air. Mm -hmm. Dion got it cracked. Dion kind of cracked. <laughs> <laughs> Very much. Kind of. The word kind of does not apply. It is a slight understatement. Slight <laughs> yeah. understatement. Absolute mad lad. It's like, I people give people give Zonas crap. I genuinely love watching Dion play. I may be kind of biased, but I love watching the, I, wa I love watching Dion play. I love watching the way he slowly picks people apart. And just look at the creature that he's piloting. <laughs> that in and of itself it always... is beautiful to watch. <laughs> it always comes back to the me with you, doesn't it? Of course. <laughs> They're works of art. They need to be appreciated in their own way. Good air dodge this time from Carrot. He air dodged that. It must have been on the last possible frame. Didn't realize air dodges could fully could last the full duration of that. Dion going for the read on the neutral get up there. Yeah, oh my! Oh my hard. goodness! Eking it past the Hadoken, of course. Hadoken is a pretty decently large commitment in and of itself. There's a good amount of lag on that move. Um, so yeah course, being he... able to sneak your own projectile in like the stealth burst that is going to not be a favorable exchange i didn't uh i didn't even see it he snuck it past my bit rate like i <laughs> genuinely didn't see it until he exploded off the screen <laughs> he... but then again that that's the that means that's the second time this set that carrot has i think has lost a stock for having a hadouken punished by a projectile that goes clean through it mm. he needs to be very careful when he's at that range. Carrot needs to memorize that range that he thinks is safe that is actually not and break the muscle memory habit that he seems to have built up where he thinks he sees a character that far away from him and he thinks it's okay. He has switched off to Ken now. Just Ooh. this new news just in. Breaking. Carrot is playing Ken. Yeah. He wants in. He wants in and he wants to show you. Yeah, we see now, of course, the Smashville pick makes a lot of sense. Ken being a little bit faster than Ryu, just kind of using that extra mobility to close the gap a little bit more. He, he realized that the Fireballs, the Hadoukens, weren't doing nearly as much against Gunner as they were against Samus and um, Mewtwo. So back to the tried and true Ken Masters. Oh my goodness, my guy just upbeat in neutral. He wanted the plat- He just- he wanted that platform. 
He just wanted the platform. I'm Perfect. going here, sir. Yeah. Yep. Claim speed, space. Throw. He's got the right read as well, just okay. couldn't get the up smash. That up air even. He tried to and he get got a with that down air. He needs to be careful with these Hadokens. He's at kill percent. Carrot needs to recognize this soon as well. Otherwise, he's going to lose another stock to Stealth, uh, stealth Burst. Or to the grenade. Oh <laughs> that pressure is so... That pressure is so nasty. Yeah, it's really, really difficult to deal with at the ledge. Uh-oh. Damage. Yeah, I, thought, I thought we were going to see a combo Damage. with that bomb. Stop. No? Whoa. Oh, yeah. really? No, no, no. Very, no, very... Uh, not at 110. Yeah, so, Virum's right. A tiny bit more rage, and that could have been GG's. For that stop, at least. That's so much damage Dion just put on. Oh, my word. Yep. One, like, 86 it's not really looking good for Carrot. Again, it's not looking good for him right now. Control. Oh, the... He's missed it. The pressure from Dion is... Is so nasty. I know I said it before, but there's another stealth bomber, and he's three stocks up to one. He has to stock. Okay. And then just get it with the axe kick of all moves. Ken can definitely just get a stock in a matter of seconds. So I'm not counting carrot out at all. And this is definitely his more proficient character. So, uh, full faith. Yeah. In my Italian friend. Oh my. Oh, if he got sweet spot down there right there, that would have been a huge game changer. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, because Ken being more explosive, I'd trust him to take to seal out that stock, that final stock if it came down to a 1v1, especially with the momentum. Suddenly, Dion is at 100, what is that, 110%? Yeah, yeah. And the anti-air. Or you anti-air. That's, of course, one of the benefits that Ken has over Ryu. Um, he can anti-air with the Shoryu and still manage to get the KOs off of it. It's such a scary option because suddenly... All of your escape options seem that much less advisable when you're in the corner. You have to you have to roll. He's got focus attack to turn around and hit you with that. You decide to jump, he can on reaction show you. If they if they're switched on. That said though, this still doesn't seem like it has deterred Dion. Dion is playing the same game plan he was before. He's yeah. doing a great job keeping Kara away from him. Excellent retreat back to get the damage. All good from Dion just to get away from there. He didn't air dodge and give Carrot what he wanted. Carrot was looking for a chase. Oh, and the up tilt, the finger bang, finishing it off. That'll be a clean 3 0 for Dion. He'll be moving on to fight Ramon once again <laughs> hold, hold in on. Loser Finals. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> what are you. Uh... What? Is it? Yes. You're, you're calling it the finger bang, right? Yeah. <laughs> Is there a problem? It's, it's like Zelda's up air. That's also called the finger bang. I just think... Did she, then, did she even...